hello friends i hope you are fine nowadays today in this video i am going to show you how to easy upgrade your cyberom firewall with sophos xg series firewall or if you say sf os firmware currently cyberom using cr so this is the last firmware update or if you say end of life update in uh, cyberom uh, firewall so you need to first of all login your firewall uh, okay so let's start uh, you can see uh, top port uh, on the top cyberom end of life update there is the last update on uh, cyberom firewall cyberom security appliance will be end of life and uh, are no longer supported from 31st March 2020. So you need to uh, upgrade your firewall before 31st March 2020. So let's start. Before you do that, you have to know all details about your uh, current Cyberon firewall. So uh, you can uh, see these details: appliance key, model number, and firmware version. Keep. Uh, uh, write down anywhere and note down after that login uh, after that system and uh, maintenance part you have to see uh, backup so first thing is you need to backup your device and download and keep save the uh, download file because this is uh, very very important so you need to uh, backup your backup now and backup has, uh, has taken successfully so uh, you can locally and download now you can see last backup taken on uh, sunday 28th feb 2020 15.45 so uh, you can download a backup and keep safe Again, uh, go to dash dashboard. You have to uh, show new firmware available and release notes. So you can uh, see notes how to upgrade or documentation or details here. Uh, I can uh, click here to download new firmware. Fill up the old details and accept through the accept agreement and submit button you can download your uh, new version of xg series firewall os after download you can uh, go system and maintenance part firmware and uh, go to upload section here and just uh, choose the file and uh, just upload firmware after that you can uh, see the message on bottom your uh, up firmware, new firmware uh, version of success is uploaded successfully then you can boot image boot firmware image after that so uh, you can uh, keep wait for till start device you can see uh, some lights on your device and to through the pinging 172.16.16 and 16 this is the default uh, IP for your device uh, for new uh, OS you can uh, if you are not pinging you have to uh, before that okay right thing before that you have to uh, change your IP address with new IP 172.16.16.16 so uh, this is the uh, gateway or you can uh, choose your IP 172.16.16 then 2 uh, 2 uh, 2 2 5 
and uh, you can give subnet mask by default 255.255.255.0 and the main thing gateway gateway is 172.16.16 and 16 so you can change your IP address for your machine and uh, ping the device if pinging uh, pinging the device you can access your uh, firewall with https colon backslash 172.16.16 and 16 colon 4444 this is the uh, by default port of your device to access locally if you do that you can log in your uh, firewall and do the further process uh, uh, after upload your uh, firmware, I'm going to show you uh, right here. HTTPS. You can see uh, your uh, new sofos by John. Uh, S at O S. Sorry, uh, password is eight. Okay, uh, that's right. After login your uh, SFOS, you need to uh, backup your uh, restore your uh, backup file. So I can show you how to. So I'm already. Uh, so this is the system part. You can see here backup and firmware image so uh, backup restore you can uh, choose your file last time uh, we have backup uh, download section choose the file this this is the file backup c 00 write down and upload and restore section so uh, while uh, rebooting this device old configuration all the old old configuration with the new sofos xg firewall series so uh, you can maintain your uh, firewall and uh, that's all if you have more inf information you can leave a message in comment section uh, please do like and subscribe my channel thanks for watching have a good day